Hi, I'm Bill Curtis, the Senior Vice President and Chief Scientist of CAST Software and Head of CAST Research Labs. Uh, recently, I was asked to be the Director of the Consortium for IT Software Quality, which is a special interest group of the Object Management Group, co-sponsored by the Software Engineering Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. CISC is, was started by uh, a lot of the large system integrators, outsourcers, who had gone to OMG and the SEI and said, look, we're seeing a lot of these measures in contracts. Uh, measures for reliability and security and maintainability and all these quality characteristics in software. And that's fine, we can deal with that, but what we can't deal with is every customer has a different definition. So we've got 75 different definitions of what reliability is or what security is. We need one international standard measure that we can all agree to and that we can all use in the contracts. We're all working against the same, uh, the same concept. So CISC was formed to create standardized measures of software quality characteristics in, in software that you can take from the source code uh, they can be used for managing software development, they can be used in contracts for evaluating the quality uh, of the software you're receiving from your vendors. We, we need standards for software quality measures you can take in the source code because companies need to be able to evaluate the software that they're bringing in-house from their vendors, from their outsourcers, to get an idea of the risk and cost of what they're going to put into operation to run their business or to put inside their products. Uh, right now, they really don't have any standards for that, and so they're, they're on their own. They're not sure what they're getting. Sometimes they're being overcharged. Sometimes they're putting very risky software into operation. The goal is to create a quality gate with agreed-to international standard measures you can use for evaluating what you're getting from outside the company. Right now, we have recently got our first standard through the object management group for a specification for automated function points. Function points is a very popular measure of software size, how big is a piece of software. But traditionally, it had to be measured manually. Uh, there were guidelines for how counters were supposed to count it, uh, and they interpreted those very subjectively, and so you could get a 10% difference in counts between different counters. So we needed an automated standard to make it cheap and to make it consistent and to make it capable of being measured on a continuing basis rather than once every several years. That's now a specification. We've seen the French government adopt it as a standard for reporting size on French contracts. Uh, I think we'll soon see other governments adopt it. A lot of companies are now starting to use that internally to measure the size of their own software. Now, in addition to that, right now we have four additional measures going through the OMG standardization process for the characteristics of reliability, security, performance and maintainability and when these are ready they can be used by companies to evaluate uh, their own internal development or what the software they're acquiring from their vendors uh, as well as use these as a foundation for evaluating what they're getting in their contracts. Uh, but the next set of, of uh, measures we're going to work on are technical debt, uh, enhancement function points which is what you have to use when you're measuring the size of maintenance activities and quality adjusted productivity which says let's adjust our productivity figures by the quality of the thing that we're producing so we don't uh, we don't push all of the all of the rework into a future so we look productive now but in the future it's a disaster uh, so those are some of the measures we're going to produce those are the ones that our sponsors have asked for technical debt quality adjusted productivity and enhancement function points beyond that we'll continue to work on what the sponsors uh, set as priority so part of the value of sponsorship is you set the priorities for the measures we'll specify and introduce into the OMG standardization process when we started CISC, we had 24 companies join. We had executive forums where they told us the kinds of measures they felt were most important for their own operations. Uh, 24 companies decided to join, and these were big IT shops from Fortune 200 companies. Uh, they were system integrators and outsourcers, and they were small companies that provided products and services into the IT space. And they met for a period of two to three years to define these measures and to get, them, uh, to get them into specification forms they could be submitted to OMG for standardization. Uh, recently, we've gone to a more traditional OMG sponsorship form where we have sponsors. Typically, their uh, large companies are their, especially system, uh, system integrators and outsourcers uh, that sponsor CISC, and membership is now free. Any individual can go to the CISC website, uh, push the membership button, fill out some information and request a password and we'll uh, provide it to you and then you can go inside the website and get access to all kinds of information. You can access the standards, uh, there's white papers that describe how to use the standards in contracting and other kinds of, of uses inside an IT organization. 
so membership is free. We encourage you to, to join. We have members are blogging about their software quality issues. Uh, we'll be creating discussion groups. We'll have standards there. Uh, so it's, a, it's going to be a very active website focused on structural quality, the engineering quality of large software systems. Uh, I think we're unique in that, and that's the objective, is to create not only measures for these, but to create awareness uh, of the st structural quality issues which have been underserved in large systems. One of the things we did recently is we provided comments into the Securities and Exchange Commission on a new standard that they're promoting for getting better control over the software that's going into the uh, securities trading environment. Uh, and we felt that it needed a little bit stronger. We were very much encouraged, encouraged by it and support of it, but we wanted to see it get a little bit stronger in the structural quality issues. So we will take policy uh, issues into consideration and provide comments into uh, government policies and, and corporate policies where we see we can really continue to drive forward the the quality of software that people are using for everything from you know, medical equipment into avionics and into running big banks. CISC continues to run a series of seminars at the OMG meetings. The nice thing is OMG meets all over the, all over the U.S. and overseas, especially in, in Europe. So we're able to use the OMG meetings as a place to have seminars to really focus on the, the quality and security of large IT systems and to invite people in. They come, they hear a number of really top-notch speakers talk about how to manage technical debt, how to manage security, how to manage quality issues in big systems, how to deal with productivity. Our next event is going to be in Austin, Texas at the OMG meeting in September. It'll be at the Sheraton of the Capitol in the center of Austin, right near 6th Street, so you'll have a ball while you're there. Uh, on Wednesday the 17th of September, we are going to have a full day dedicated uh, CISC seminar on technical debt, managing technical debt, and managing the security of systems. Uh, so it's going to be quite a day. Uh, we're going to have a number of, of really excellent speakers. Uh, it will be very informative. I think you'll, you'll walk away with a lot of knowledge about what to do to better manage the quality, the technical debt, the security of the systems that you're putting in operation.